In this video, we will look at four examples of determining the end behavior or long run behavior of power functions. For a quick review, as x approaches negative infinity, we are moving left along the graph, and as x approaches positive infinity, we are moving right along the graph. And if the function values or y values go up, the function values or y values are approaching infinity. If the function values or y values go down, the function values are approaching negative infinity. Notice for these first two examples, the degrees of the power functions are even. Our first function is f of x equals x to the sixth. Notice as x approaches negative infinity, or as we move to the left along the graph, the graph goes up, and therefore the y values or function values approach infinity. Which means as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. And as x approaches positive infinity, or as we move to the right along the graph, notice how the graph goes up, and therefore the function values or y values approach positive infinity. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. And now let's take a look at f of x equals negative x to the fourth. As x approaches negative infinity, or as we move to the left along the graph, the graph goes down, and therefore the y values or function values approach negative infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, or as we move to the right along the graph, notice how the graph goes down, and therefore the y values or function values approach negative infinity. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. Again, notice how for both of these power functions, the degrees are even, but for the first function, f of x equals x to the sixth, a is one or positive, and for the second function, f of x equals negative x to the fourth, a is negative one or negative. Whenever we have a power function with an even degree and a is positive, this will always be the end behavior. And when the degree is even and a is negative, this will always be the end behavior. Now let's take a look at two examples where the degree is odd. Our first function is f of x equals x cubed. As x approaches negative infinity, or as we move to the left along the graph, notice how the graph goes down, and therefore the y values or function values approach negative infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, or as we move to the right along the graph, the graph goes up, and therefore the y values or function values approach infinity. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. And now let's take a look at f of x equals negative x to the fifth. As x approaches negative infinity, or as you move to the left, notice how the graph goes up, and therefore the y values or function values approach infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, or as you move to the right along the graph, the graph goes down, and therefore the function values or y values approach negative infinity. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. So again, notice how both of these power functions have an odd degree, but for f of x equals x cubed, a is one or positive, and for f of x equals negative x to the fifth, a is negative one or negative. Whenever we have a power function with an odd degree and a is positive, this will always be the end behavior, and when the degree is odd and a is negative, this will always be the end behavior. Let's summarize this with a table. When we have a power function in the form of a times x raised to the power of n, if a, the coefficient, is positive, we look at this row. If a is negative, we look at this row. And then if the degree is even, we look at this column. If the degree is odd, we look at this column. In our four examples, we looked at each of these four cases. I hope you found this helpful.